Hey guys, Azir Shield K9. Let's talk about how to avoid your dog getting e collar wise. This is a problem that a lot of people have. How do you stop your dog from only behaving when he or she wears the e collar? And the answer to that question is a little bit complex, so let's get into it. Number one, I have a disobedience problem. I go outside, I know he's going to ignore half the things I ask him to do. So, what's the solution? Is the solution to put this on him and teach him a lesson? What that would do is it would quickly show him, oh, when I'm wearing this, I have to behave. But when I'm not, I can go and do whatever the heck it is I want. And and that's not something I ever, ever want to teach the dog. Right, Gage? Yeah. Can you, like, look over here? Yeah. No, no, no. Not come over here. Oh, my God. <laughs> The last thing I want to do is I want to put this e-collar on him and go out there and correct him. What I am going to do is I am going to put this e-collar on him. This e-collar is dead. I'm going to put this e-collar on him just like as if I was going to use it. And I've already done this a few times. As frustrating as it is sometimes when you're like, hey man, you just need to come over here. I'm going to let him do all that with this on. And he's not going to make an association between this and obedience. Then I'm going to rein him in a little bit later. And he's going to learn a little bit of a lesson later on. And then as things escalate, I'm going to start tightening things up and I'm going to start using it consistently and I'm going to start demanding more and more reliability in the dog's behavior. Now for dogs that come into our kennel, sure, after we've done the basic leash work, we will be using the e-collar with that dog. But that dog always leaves the kennel with the e-collar on. So they never learn the difference between collar on, collar off because they're never out there without the collar off. Let's talk about the people that have this problem. People that commonly have this dog that knows what the e-collar is problem. Well, those people fall into two broad camps, okay? Camp number one, your dog was doing something you didn't like. Maybe they were barking out the window or digging holes or getting on the counter, whatever it is you didn't like. You slapped this e-collar on your dog and when they did the thing you didn't like, you zapped the dog and, and the dog learned that he or she couldn't do that. Here's the problem. Your dog's first exposure to this sensation was a negative one. It was like a, a, an extremely aversive experience. Those kind of big experiences, those tend to imprint on the dog and the dog definitely made the association between this strange new collar that he or she is wearing and that sensation, especially if you repeated the lesson a few times, right? instead of putting that collar on, not doing anything with it, letting the dog almost be disobedient with it on, and then using it. Camp number two, you went to a professional trainer or maybe you watched some YouTube videos, read, read a book, whatever it is that you did, and you did the e-collar training yourself and your dog's actually pretty darn obedient on the e-collar. And the problem that you have is that he's only obedient on the e-collar. You take that e-collar off, he doesn't listen. Well, here's what you did. You put that e-collar on him, you showed him everything with the e-collar, but I guarantee you, you were asking him to do things without this e-collar as well. Formal commands. So like I define commands as informal and formal. So when I'm asking a dog to do something that I never want him to learn is optional, like for instance, a come command or something like this, I will never not have a means to hold the dog accountable for not listening or not following through with my instruction. Whether that's a long line on the dog or whether that's an e-collar, all right? That way the dog never learns that disobedience is a possibility. What a lot of people do with the e-collar trained dogs is they're like, oh my God, he's so well behaved now. And they take the e-collar off and then they start to tell the dog to do things. And of course, over time, the dog maybe ignores them once, twice, three times, 10 times. And now you have a dog that knows the difference. So then the person gets frustrated. They put the e-collar back on the dog. Today you learn a lesson, zap, zap, zap. And then the dog's like, oh man, okay. So that's the thing that makes me listen. There are ways to fix dogs that are already e-collar wise. The number one thing that I say is, if you have an e-collar wise dog, do this. Put that e-collar on your dog for an entire week leave it turned off. Take it on, take it off randomly. Don't make a deal out of it, all right? And just let your dog wear it constantly. And over a period of time, your dog's gonna stop being sensitized to this device, especially if you're able to safely allow your dog to disobey you with this device on. Then, after that, intermittently use the collar for another week. That's one simple method that you can use. The other thing as well is, why are you using the collar that much if your dog's already trained? Don't be one of those people that it constantly tickles your dog with the collar. And I say tickle because there's a lot of people, they don't go very high on the collar. Literally, it's a tickle. They just tickle the dog with the collar. It makes them feel good about themselves, you know, like, yeah, it doesn't hurt, you know, it's just a minor discomfort, so on and so forth. And they're just constantly kind of nicking the dog on low levels with the collar, and it's enough to kind of keep the dog somewhat in line, so they're pretty happy with that. Problem with that is, the dog actually almost becomes addicted to the sensation of the collar. This brings me to the next kind of topic here. When do you take this off? Well, I compete with my dog, so in competitions, I don't use it. And my dog's not collar-wise, even though we train with this thing on a, on a regular basis, right? My dog's not collar-wise because I never did the things that people that don't know better do. That being said, it's really important. If you can't use the e-collar all the time, don't get the dog super wise to the collar. That's my major advice. The e-collar should be something that you use 
once in a blue moon as an insurance policy. Another little trick to fixing a collar wise dog. Do what I said with putting that e-collar on your dog and not using it. So you put the e-collar on and let's say you have like a special flat collar that you put on your dog. Put this e-collar on your dog all the time, but only ever use the e-collar, that special flat collar that you have when you put that on your dog. And then your dog will perceive that the e-collar is actually the flat collar, which it's not. The dog will perceive that, hey, this e-collar that I wear is the same as that flat collar. Anyways, tune in uh, for more videos. I'm going to have more helpful tips and hints and how-to training videos coming right up.